Hello guys and welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to be playing um well obviously Kerbal Space Program. Well let's jump into it in a sec. Um now you might remember my vertical takeoff and landing flight jet. This isn't the newest version now, it's not version 19 anymore. So let's go ahead, do it. Um, B-Boy Space Program. Flag Orbit. Orbit. Start. Oh wait, give me one second so it doesn't go into square screen mode when this is recording. Okay guys, I am back. And, um... Planes. Marvel Sphinx. Anyway, we have been contracted by the Kerbal Space Military to build them a supersonic jet fighter, seeming as nobody else has them yet. So... Let's get started then, shall we? Um, let's go ahead and start with a Mark II cockpit so that we can make use of the ramjets right away. Now I'm blaming you guys for the lag. <laughs> Mainly because I bumped up, I buffed up my graphics for you guys. Now, do they have the procedural wings? Yeah, procedural wings. Cool. Alright, so. We were on jet fuel. Jet fuel. We'll give it three tanks of jet. No, four tanks of jet fuel. And then we will go ahead and put a ramjet on it. Now, Kerbal Space Program has done a lot of work for its graphics, and I have to say, they are amazing. I mean, sure, they may not be the flashiest thing around, but just look! I mean, in the new update, they've really outdone, outdone themselves. Alright, first line to gear down. Now, wings. Procedural Wing Mark 1. Symmetry so that one can stand on the side and stand to the other. Hmm. How did you do this? One sec. Okay guys, I'm back and I uh, figured out how to do the procedural wings. So let's go ahead and mouse over and start with the root. And make the roots nice and big. This isn't working. Aim mark free procedural. It's nice and big. Okay, that's working now. So let's go back to the small ones. It's nice and big. Now, Aviation Fury suggests Delta Wings are the best type of wings for this. So we're going to go ahead and with the tip position backwards Look at that oh yeah that's nice and now we'll go ahead and make the root a bit bigger 
move the wings back a bit. Um, actually, let's go ahead and uh, move the tips back a bit. Surfaces also, which will use as elements, and we'll get a nice little ladder. Now we are going to ahead, going to go ahead, save it as Jet Fighter One. Let's go ahead and test fly this baby. Here we are on the runway. Test control surfaces work. Yep, yeah, okay, let's go. Too far forward. Space Center, leave anyway. Center of Lift is too far forward. Wait. The center of which is actually behind the center of the mass and yet it spirals out of control completely. Let's go ahead and try and move that forward a bit to just there. Now we're also going to want to add a couple more control surfaces. So let's try adding canyons here. Okay, let's go. Quit runway. Times one, but we stretch by the one. Ready to launch. Three, two, one, engage engines. Okay. 
not the most stable thing in the world. But it is flyable. So let's go ahead and climb it. The problem with having a center of mass so far backwards is that the plane always wants to have the center of mass pointing it at the direction that it's going. And if you have it towards back, that makes things a little bit unstable. But space from her back. Now let's go ahead. More control surfaces. We need to start moving stuff forward. Pretty good. Now, where's the center of the mass? It's still too far back. So let's go ahead and move these control canyons from there to here. Is you with um, another fuel tank? And then, I don't know, it's going to tap there. And then we will add the um, avionics package. So now what we want to do is we want to start moving things forward. Everything slightly forward. Except for you, you need to stay the same. Hmm. Now we can move this slightly backwards, uh, forwards. Now what else can we do to increase the center of lift? Oh, not the center of lift, the center of mass. We can put a whole bunch of stuff in it. Such as batteries. They don't do that much. Let's go ahead and put the lights on. I want... Hmm. Oh, planes, I always put the... Ooh, I know. Let's move this as far forward here. And get rid of this tail section there. And now we will go ahead and jet. 
and put a couple of Kenyards on it. There we go. Um, now let's move the wing position forward slightly. that design and launch. Ooh, I forgot to move the wheel. At least I've got a bit more of an angle. Oh! Huh. Huh. Yeah. Aerodynamic vents. So radio engine cells. trial and error. Well, I've done it before, I just try to do it again, you know? Let's put the resources tab up. Jet engine burning bright. Oh, what do you know? We have fuel coming. Alright, let's try doing some maneuvers first. Speed of sound. Make sure lights for aesthetics. Oh, I put them on backwards. Alright, you then. Let's 
there's less in this air to combat, we can go faster and faster. Once we get supersonic, it becomes very easy. This is good, this is good. So we reach about 10,000, we'll level off. It's not a supersonic run. Start leveling off. Right about any second. Yeah. I believe we have passed the speed of sound. Why is it not showing it? Yeah, speed of sound is about 300 meters a second. So we're well over it by now. Just remember being able to see aesthetics. Now this is a high altitude jet. Intercare is being lost at one minute a second, uh, one minute a second. We are now slightly outside of the Earth's oxygen laid atmosphere. Oh, not Earth, sorry, curtains. There we go, we're starting to get the reentry effects. Nose down. Oh, nose down. Nose down. Controls are starting to become unresponsive. We'll lose our engine in a sec. There we go. There's the engine. Now let's see how good we did. Okay, we're reaching our apoapsis in a second. Now we just need to pitch down. Hope that there's still enough air to provide a little bit of aerodynamic certainty. But yeah guys, that's a supersonic fighter. Um I'll make sure that next time I have whatever model I had installed so that you can actually see me breaking the speed of sound. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty successful. Look how far we've gotten already. 
like that. This is a long range fighter. Doesn't actually need that much fuel. There you go. Engine's back online. Push down. Push down. Don't push down. Push down. 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 Pitch down. Yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. That's definitely supersonic. In fact, I'd say that's hypersonic. Let's say we try and fly this to the next continent. Okay? So long it takes. There's the moon. Nose down. Let's see what happens if I flip it. Oh, that's just good. It doesn't actually want to flip. Oh, there it is already. I believe those are the mountain peaks. So let's go ahead and cut the entrance. Good. We know that we now have enough. Get the um let's try and straighten this plane up. And let's go ahead and make a turn. Trying to change our course. And there we go. Shut down the range. Left landing, landing gear boy. I need some sort of parachutes. There we go, engines were cut off. The plane flies very smoothly, I'm very happy with it. it well, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, it is a very functional fighter jet. Now, in the next couple of things, I'll be getting a Gatling gun mod, which will allow me to make weapon videos. Where we can test fire this, and I think I'm just coming short. So, we're going to need a bit of engines. A bit of, a bit of thrust.
we go. We are once again subsonic. I'm not touching the controls right now. I'll turn SAS off. It flies absolutely beautifully. It just doesn't want to tip over. Even when you let go of the controls, only slightly it pitches up. Okay, shut down the engines. Take a steep dive. Get ready to pull up. Those clicks. Get ready to pull up. Wow. We're actually still slowing down with engines at full throttle. Okay. Decrease thrust just a little bit. Dare say. It's really starting to look ridgy since I said that. But anyway, we'll attempt to land here. Got the engines. There you can see our shadow. Use that to decide at what altitude I am in relation to the ground. A little bit of engines just to provide enough thrust. Also the lights indicating where we are. Prepare for landing. And brakes. Thank you guys, this is the first part of my Kerbal military design. This is Buddy B-Boy signing off. Thank you very much for watching.